Off the top at 5 o'clock, will Florida voters get to vote on an abortion rights amendment when they head to the polls in November? The Florida Supreme Court today heard arguments on the issue. But there won't be a ruling for some time. And Local 10's Glenna Milberg is in our newsroom now with this developing story. Glenna. Calvin Nicole, abortion rights, one of Florida's most heated issues. But the question for the court is pretty cut and dry. Is it just one subject for the ballot? And is the wording of it clear? Ladies and gentlemen, the Florida Supreme Court. Justices jumped in with questions from the start. What? degree of knowledge we should attribute to the voter. Attorneys for Florida's attorney general called the ballot language vague, misleading. Understated to the point of deception, limit government interference. What you're talking about is that it unambiguously would eviscerate government interference. Exactly the intention of those who collected more than a million signatures to get the question of abortion rights on the November ballot for voters to decide that since the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade and gave abortion rights law back to the states. If a voter doesn't like uh, this amendment, they are perfectly capable of voting against it. Florida's Supreme Court's job here is simply to approve the language you'll see on the ballot. No law shall prohibit, penalize, delay, or restrict abortion before viability or when necessary to protect the patient's health or is determined by the patient's health care provider. There's four words that doom this amendment. No law shall restrict. That is breathtakingly broad. Justices did consider the sweeping change possible in abortion rights in Florida government out of that personal decision, though the chief justice said this. The people of Florida aren't stupid. I mean, they can figure this out. And that is the essential question for this court of conservative justices majority appointed by Governor Ron DeSantis. How do we expect the voters to understand the legal effect when there is there's no explanation at all given as to a legal effect other than parroting? Because the words that are used are understood by voters in the context in which they are used, there is no question that voters understand what viability means in the abortion context. This court has until April 1st to make the ruling, and so if this does make the November ballot, it'll take 60% of voters to pass it and put it in the Florida Constitution, which would undo restrictions that Florida lawmakers have put in place for abortion now and in the future. Calvin. Okay, thanks a lot there, Glenna. We could